What's up? <clears throat> All right, I'm back, and it's time to talk a little about middle linebackers. And this is where it gets fun, because I've got, you know, my team, Seahawks, have an extremely good one that I love to talk about. And I like the position in general a lot all around the league, so I'll be talking about that quite a bit, hopefully. Okay, our starting middle linebacker is well known around the league. He's been around only two years. Second round pick out of USC, Lofitutupu. Uh, been our best player over the last two years, all, all in all. And over the last two years, we've had quite a bit of success, so <coughs> you can see how important he is. He's, um, you know, got good tackle numbers. Seems to be pretty good rushing the quarterback. I think the verdict is still out on whether or not he's a good blitzer. He's very good in coverage. <coughs> um, I'm not sure about how many touchdowns or anything he gives up, but he already has four picks in his career. Um, yeah, he's also, you know, our emotional leader on defense, leads the de team, inspires his fellow defenders to greater heights. <coughs> also, last year he started hitting a bit harder, had uh, two forced fumbles. That's always nice. Now, in 2005 was his rookie year, so he had a great year, but he made some rookie mistakes, did some rookie things, of course. Last year had a bit of a sophomore slump, had another great season, but missed quite a few tackles and wasn't as making as many plays. And um, if I recall correctly, he got burned by a Denver tight end. The game against Denver never really should have happened, kind of a uh, mental error on his part. But <coughs> the point is, he's entering his third year now, and they say that the third year is really the magical year when you really step out into your own in the NFL. So <coughs> I don't think we've seen the best from this kid yet, and I think we're just about to. So keep an eye on this guy. He does pretty much everything you could ask of a middle linebacker. Now, behind him, if Tatupa were to get hurt, we'd probably bring in Julian Peterson or Leroy Hill to play the middle. Maybe Kevin Bentley or Michael Bulware. <coughs> you know, one of those guys to man the middle. But the straight backup at middle linebacker is um, Nico, Kudavi N Nico Kudavitis. Now, actually, I don't mind him that much. He actually did see a fair amount of action in 2004, which, well, on one hand, it's kind of pathetic that we actually had him starting for a short period of time, but um, it also gives us an experienced backup, so if something were to happen, I would be more comfortable with Kudovitis than most backup linebackers in this league. I miss Kazavinsky, who went to St. Louis as far as backups go, but you can't be expected to carry around too many starting caliber backups. I mean, I mean, there's a reason why they call them backups. <coughs> okay, that's actually about it. So, I would definitely give this position a high grade because I have a lot of confidence in it. I think our defense flows through it, and I like our starter a lot. I have limited faith in the backup, so I'm going to go ahead and give it an A. You know, both guys are young. Both guys have potential. <coughs> What can I what can I complain about? There's nothing to complain about. Okay. <coughs> Moving on. Now, let's discuss one of my favorite positions in the NFL, the middle linebacker. In the tri traditional 4-3 set, you've got one middle linebacker and um he plays in between both outside linebackers and just behind the defensive line and Generally, the middle linebacker is the leader of the defense. The defense sort of flows through him because he's in the center of everything and is therefore expected to make play calls much like the quarterback on offense. <coughs> there have been exceptions, but this is how things usually go. And then, <coughs> in the 3-4, you've got two middle linebackers. They call them inside linebackers in this set. Um... They also play in between the two outside linebackers and behind the three defensive linemen. <coughs> Traditionally, what will happen is you want one middle linebacker who can cover really well, and uh, you'll want the other middle linebacker to be more of a threat to stuff the run or rush the passer. good example of this would be Pittsburgh, which sports uh, Larry Foote, 
good coverage guy, and James Ferrier, who's more of the run stuffing guy. And <coughs> New England does this pretty well with Teddy Bruschi and uh, Mike Vrabel. You know, I mean, there are definitely exceptions. I mean, um, yeah, but it depends on what kind of three four you want to run. But that's generally how things go now. As for some of the elite middle linebackers around the league, well, let's look at some things that middle linebackers are expected to do. <coughs> the primary job of the middle linebacker is to take advantage of whatever blockers the defensive tackles can eat up to get penetration through the line and get to the ball carrier. On a running play, he would, you know, go after the running back. In terms of getting this done, you've got several elite players in the league, for instance, um... Ray Lewis, of course, getting old, but <clears throat> in terms of, you know, taking advantage of big big defensive tackles, he's one of the best. Uh, you got uh, Dan Morgan in Carolina, if he can ever get back. I think, actually, the best player, middle linebacker in the league when it comes to uh, penetrating into the backfield and chasing the guy with the ball would be, actually, Antonio Pierce in New York. Another role that's important for a middle linebacker is the ability to rush the passer <coughs> on, a, on a blitz. And um, in terms of good blitzing linebackers, the best one in the league right now is actually probably sitting on the bench, Kendrell Bell. I believe he's in Kansas City. I don't think he's going to get much of a chance to start anymore, but he's a very good blitzer from the middle linebacker spot. Ray Lewis is another one of those guys. Once again, I'm bringing him up. Has 20 sacks in his career. Uh, you've got players like Zach Thomas. Uh, <clears throat> you know, these guys that are good at getting after the quarterback. And actually in San Diego, um, I believe his name is Anwar Phillips. Something like that. I'm, I can't remember his name. He's also quite good at blitzing from the 3-4 middle linebacker spot. <coughs> and also you're expected to be able to cover tight ends running backs, sometimes wide receivers. Prime examples of good man-to-man -man coverage abilities would include Lofa Tutubu. I would again say Ray Lewis. I think he's pretty good in coverage. Has his fair share of interceptions. Deflects quite a few passes. Um, as for playing in a zone, uh, then you got like Brian Erlacher and uh, Sheldon Quarles of Chicago and Tampa Bay respectively. Both teams run the cover to Tampa 2 defense, so you see both teams drop their middle linebackers into deep zones sometimes, almost like a third safety, and they do that very well. Okay, so that pretty much covers everything you would expect a middle linebacker to do. Well, actually, there is the leadership factor that I mentioned. you got players like Ray Lewis and Brian Erlacher that lead their defense from the middle linebacker spot, more or less. <clears throat> okay, so I'm going to go over my thoughts on the middle linebacker spot in general real quick here, and I'll remind you all again, comment on this video, let me know what you think about middle linebackers, talk about your favorite, you know, ones you think are underrated, whatever. Okay, so, the best middle linebacker in the league right now, <coughs> I'm just gonna go ahead and stick with my boy Ray Lewis, because I know he's old, but I think there is a bit of a... I think this position is in a bit of a flux right now, so I'll go with his overall uh, elite abilities from the position. He's only got a couple years left at an elite level, but I'll take his versatility and leadership any day. Okay. Underrated. An underrated middle linebacker. <coughs> I'm going to go with Nick Barnett of Green Bay, even though he's starting to get attention just now. Um... He's a young guy, came out of the 2004 draft, been an absolute A-plus pick for this franchise. Eight sacks, seven interceptions, and 478 tackles in four seasons. Only missed two games. Man, guy's a man-beast. Watch out for him in the future. Overrated. This is pretty easy for me. Al Wilson. He was with Denver for years, made all kinds of Pro Bowls, got all kinds of, you know... Um, Kudos from all around the league, and he wasn't very good at anything anything in particular, in my opinion. Very overrated. I think Denver made the right choice by cutting him. Okay. Um, breakout star this year. Um, I'm going with Kirk Morrison in Oakland just because, even though he's already a great player, he doesn't get very much credit. All right, I'm out. See ya.